Hi, I'm Brent, and I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. Twilio is a communication platform that makes it really easy for you to connect people around the world using the tools and technologies you already know and love. Let's see how it works. We'll start by handling incoming text messages. A user sends a text message to your Twilio number. Twilio makes an HTTP request to your application, which returns some Twimmel, which tells Twilio what to do with the incoming text message, and Twilio sends a text back to your user. For that, we need a phone number, so I'm going to search for a 215 number and buy the first Philadelphia number I find. I'll click buy this number, and we'll come back to phone number setup later. My application is an ASP.NET MVC application using Visual Studio. You could use .NET Core in Visual Studio Code if you'd like. I'm going to use the Package Manager console to install the twilio.asp.net.mvc package, which will install a bunch of prerequisites as well. Once everything's installed, we will add some namespaces. We need the twilio.asp.net.mvc and the twilio.twimmel namespaces. We'll change the type of our controller to Twilio controller, which will give us an action method of Twimmel result that we can create, which will return some Twimmel. We'll call our first action method incoming SMS. We'll create a messaging response and we'll use a new messaging response to create a text message, which will say, thanks for messaging my demo. Look up more information on our docs and follow us on YouTube at youtube.com slash Twilio. And then we'll return that Twimmel out to the requester. I'm going to spin up an ngrok tunnel, which will allow Twilio to reach our local host through a URL provided by the tunnel. And I'll run our application. And if we head over to the browser, I'll change the URL to our ngrok tunnel and add slash phone slash incoming SMS. And then we'll see the Twimmel that was returned from the endpoint. Now we'll head back to that phone number setup and come down to where it says a message comes in. We'll paste in our URL and add slash phone slash incoming SMS and save it. At this point, I can pull out my phone and send a text message. I'll just say hi, and we'll get back the response that we just programmed in the method. Now let's talk about making a phone call from your Twilio number. Your app makes a post request to slash calls, and Twilio places a call to your phone. When the call is connected, Twilio asks for some Twimmel from your server and then plays an MP3 to your phone. All right, we're going to need some more namespaces here. I'm going to bring in system.configuration so I can access app settings. Then we'll need Twilio and the account object out of the REST API, as well as the Twilio.types namespace. Then we'll create a new Twimmel result action method called place song. This is just going to create a voice response Twimmel object that plays an MP3. So we'll create a new voice response and we'll call dot play on it, passing in a URL. This URL is just going to be to a song. If you can guess what song it is, let me know sometime on Twitter. I'm at Brent Schooley. I'm sure you'll know it. If you don't, ask a friend. And then we'll return that Twimmel out from this method. Awesome. Now if we run our application and head back over to the browser and go to slash phone slash play song, we'll see the Twimmel that's being returned there. Next, we'll create another action method that will be used to make the phone call. We're just going to return content out of this so we can use regular action result. Here, we're going to need a couple credentials out of the Twilio console, namely the account SID and auth token. I'm going to pull them out of app settings, but you could use your environment or a secrets manager, whatever works for you. But you need your account SID and auth token. Then you want to pass them to Twilio client.init, passing in again the account SID and auth token. Then we can use that client to create a call, but for that, we're going to need two phone numbers. We'll need a two phone number. That's going to be my phone number, which I'll pull out of app settings. And then we'll need a from phone number, and that's going to be the 215 area code phone number that I've been working with so far in the demo. So we'll just put that in, plus one, 215, 515, 4732. Okay, now that we have our two phone numbers, we can create a call. So that's going to use call resource.create. We'll pass in the two and the from phone numbers, and then this will need a URL for Twilio to fetch some Twimmel from. And that's just going to be our play song that we created above, but we want to use the ngrok URL so Twilio can find it. So slash phone slash play song. And then we'll return some content, and that's just going to be the ID of the call once it's connected. We'll run our application again, and this time we can go to slash phone slash make call, and Twilio will call my cell phone. So I'll get a phone call right now. And I can answer it and hear that song. That's all there is to it to using Twilio's voice and SMS APIs. If you head to this URL, you can find a phone number in your region where you can send a text message to it to get more details. You can also give it a phone call if you want to guess what the song is. I can't wait to see what you build.